so this video is going to be just uh, me flexing my uh, certification uh, of uh, AZ900 which I have uh, completed a week before so this certification is a fundamental or basic certificate that you can acquire for uh, Microsoft Azure cloud platform so in this video I will just try to uh, share my experience how I have, how I have uh, cleared the exam and what you can expect and what you can't expect uh, from this certification so let's get started so if you are interested in the cloud platform or getting any certification on cloud uh, maybe going from uh, microsoft side azure may be uh, one of the good idea which you can pro proceed uh, there is another uh, platforms like uh, google cloud and you have the uh, microsoft sorry <laughs> amazon web services aws so this is just uh, me explaining how I have uh, done this course. So first, um, you don't need any uh, ex external uh, material or any instruction to do this one. It is pretty simple. Just to type uh, whatever exam you want to write. If you don't know what exam you want to write, well, you can just visit uh, learning.microsoft.com. Here, I know that I am have to uh, do AZ900, which is Azure Fundamentals. So here I am typing. So it opens all the uh, courses uh, sorry it opens that exam uh, portal from here you can easily uh, schedule the exam schedule with uh, Pearson view and if you are from India uh, you can select the country as India for your states it's telling like it had it was like uh, $99 so I can select India it will be like 3700 or something so that uh, you need to pay if you are in a working in an organization just check with them whether they have any uh, partnership with the Microsoft so you will get a voucher to uh, complete this course then uh, now we will uh, see how you need to uh, prepare for the exam if you come to the bottom they have their own um, ways to uh, prepare the uh, for that exam particular certificate there are two options one is uh, self-faced where they have uh, recorded videos and the instruction or uh, pretty much uh, paragraphs which you can read uh, to go through that uh, uh, go through and uh, understand the cloud concepts Second is instructor led, which you need to uh, register. Uh, from that, a Microsoft certified uh, instructor will uh, teach you the lesson. I believe uh, for AZ900, it is two days of uh, classes. So this one has the uh, cloud concept of 25 to 30 percentage and architecture and services 35 to 40. And then again, uh, Azure my, uh, management and governance related thing for uh, 30 to 35 percentage, which is fine. So uh, to get the knowledge on this uh, particular uh, topics, uh, I you can choose the self-faced uh, skills. There you have uh, three modules. In the three modules you have, uh, sorry, in three uh, collections, they call it as collection. So in the three collection, you have uh, different, different modules inside that one. The first uh, Azure fundamental has the three module and the uh, this architect and the services has four modules and management and governance has four modules again okay. like this you can go through this one this is free you can just directly go uh, uh, click here and you can just go through the sessions one by one so each will have uh, their particular estimation time how long it takes so based on this you can uh, go through this section and read it and you can even take a notes and uh, keywords what and all important so this is one of the great thing because sometimes the platform uh, allows you to write an exam but they don't give any material or something you just uh, have to go through some external sites uh, like Udemy or some other learning platform uh, to uh, get the knowledge but here um, they have their own uh, certificates uh, they have their own materials to learn and the recorded videos to get through that path so once you have uh, get to this one you will get some sort of confidence like uh, how uh, you can proceed for the further exam and um, this one uh, to uh, to give my experience on uh, this uh, for third or three more uh, three collections uh, nearly some uh, 11 modules uh, I didn't get uh, much uh, hands-on sessions uh, there are four to five hands-on sessions, which are really basics uh, where you will have an option to get into the Azure's uh, uh, portal uh, view uh, there you will have to create a virtual machine or getting uh, some hands-on with the shell or uh, CLI uh, consoles 
so those are some of the things which i have done through this uh, particular one as i said this is not a uh, i would say intermediate or advanced level it is just a beginner level uh, so you can expect the same so once you are completed with this uh, for 11 modules uh, you can uh, do one good thing which is uh, taking a free practice assessment so as you, as you go through the process you can uh, just click here and you will uh, enter till to uh, attend the uh, mock test or something the questions won't be same as uh, your final examination uh, but uh, this will give an idea like how the uh, what are all the ways they can ask the question based on the results it will give you a specialized path um, which you need to go through uh, further in order to uh, pass in the exam so here they were uh, telling the uh, score should be above 80 to pass it but uh, there they were in the actual exam it is like uh, i don't know maybe 800 or 900 uh, uh, this one for uh, something like that uh, i scored uh, 730 uh, marks in this one it is uh, below 7 700 is uh, pass uh, so i got extra 30 points uh, I didn't I just uh, clear this exam so once you done it you can uh, schedule it with the PSN view and uh, things are a little bit uh, this one um, you need to consider uh, more about uh, giving the exact information uh, on the portal because if any mismatches happens with your actual uh, uh, name or uh, in the proof that you are giving and the name is different in the portal means uh, it won't allow you to write exam so make sure all your uh, names and things are matching with the actual uh, proof that you are submitting second thing is um, the PSN view will ask uh, 30 minutes before you need to uh, start the exam and pre uh, before exam uh, procedures you have to do that time you need to take a picture of your surrounding so make sure you uh, clear the some unwanted things from the uh, place so that you can uh, take uh, uh, photos and send it also before starting the exam inter uh, the instructor or uh, vigilant something those people will uh, call you and in the appear uh, their own app uh, you need to install that one to check whether your system is compatible or not that time you need to enable the webcam and uh, uh, it will be recorded in the entire exam but in that call you need to show exactly wh where you are sitting and what is the view um, in the, your surrounding and everything also make sure nobody is shouting <laughs> in the back end or something uh, because that may uh, result in uh, getting revoked from the exam so make sure you are in a quiet place or something but if you are not uh, having that uh, facilities to accommodate uh, for the exam you can register with uh, near uh, any near uh, Pearson views uh, exam center where you can uh, attend the exam so make sure to do these things also uh, if you have a passport just use a passport because in the option you need to take only one photo of that proof if you have a, a driving license you need to take a front and back you can also use the other card but if the name is different in <laughs> government this one other means uh, make sure you whatever is uh, matching you can do it you can pretty much find uh, the exact details that what you want in the Pearson's uh, official site for the criteria so once you finish it write an exam and score will be automatically uh, shown right after completing the exam so you no need to worry about that so yeah that's uh, pretty much about this uh, certification that i have done so if you have any doubts on this one you can uh, let us let me know in the comment section so once you complete this one what you can do or is, is it necessary i need to complete azure fundamental no it is not like that but this is the uh, basic uh, structural uh, starting the azure uh, getting into the azure platform but if you are interested in some other uh, platforms in microsoft like uh, 365 or uh, uh, what do you say uh, power ba or something you can um, uh, happily go to this uh, certification section in the uh, bottom you can find all the popular certification uh, where you can find the uh, all the certification that you can do like power platform uh, security compliance and the dev apps or azure developer associate so this kind of things you can do one by one based on your criteria or requirement in your uh, organization so yeah that's what about uh, this video so thank you for watching code matter